now 12 news a crippling winter storm heading to southeast Texas. Christiana Ramos in our storm tracker tracking the timeline. Plus stay home. The warning tonight from officials as road conditions begin to deteriorate. And last minute preps folks heading out shopping ahead of the storm to make sure they are ready for potential problems it might bring. Right now, freezing rain happening in some parts of the area. It's going to be followed by temperatures we haven't seen in decades. Thanks for watching 12 News. I'm Kelsey Johnson. We're starting tonight with three things you need to know. Number one, two counties have issued disaster declarations ahead of the winter storm. They include Chambers County and Hardin County. And number two, county officials in Orange and Beaumont are closing tomorrow. Now in Orange County, county offices will be closed Tuesday as well. And in Beaumont, City Hall will be closed tomorrow. And right now, all of Southeast Texas is under a winter storm warning. We could see about half an inch of ice on the roads and we cannot stress enough. Do not get out in these conditions if you don't have to. We're going to be talking about those driving dangers in moments, but right now let's go to Christiana Ramos in our Storm Tracker Center. And Christiana, the timeline for dangerous freezing rain has actually sped up today. Yeah, so it looks like we are going to be seeing um, some freezing rain here in the triangle around 8 p.m. earliest. We are already seeing it looking at our Wortham roofing radar. You're seeing that mixture of freezing rain into southern portions of Jasper and Newton and then already seeing sleet mixture. This wintry mix that white stuff there that's snow up towards Tyler um, and then southern uh, Jasper and Newton County. So for us here in the triangle, we could be seeing freezing rain as early as 8 p.m. today. So if you haven't already started started preparations do it now because you're not going to have a lot of time within these next couple of hours, right? So we are in a winter storm warning um, throughout Southeast Texas. Hard freeze warning. Once those temperatures get progressively colder, we're dropping down below freezing. So a hard freeze warning is in effect for our area until Tuesday noon and then a winter ch uh, a winter chill um, a wind chill advisory is in effect for our area as well. We could be seeing wind chills in the single digits as we head into Tuesday morning. So very chilly out there. And let me go back for that rough timeline of when we're going to start seeing these conditions and the impact. So we're going to be seeing scattered rain throughout the next couple of hours. Then that rain is going to start transi transitioning and start to freeze as it hits surfaces, right? So that's going to be around 830 into 9. You're not going to want to be traveling out there. Stay in side stay off the roads because as it, it gets up to about a fourth an inch that's when it can get really dangerous so high impact here and then it starts to transition into sleet into snow around 4 a.m on monday and then it looks like it's out of here by let's say 11 a.m monday into the noon hour so this is definitely going to be an overnight type of thing so into tonight earliest freezing rain 8 p 8 p.m into 9 p.m and then it'll be out of here that storm system tracking more towards the east around 11 a.m tomorrow into noon so high impacts major it's low to moderate in the triangle here some portions are going to be major impacts but for most of um, the of up north it is going to be major impacts. so you're not going to want to be outside stay indoors make sure you have plenty of emergency supplies out there so ice accumulations they're ranging from um, about a fourth to a third inch so the more snow we get in this case the less ice that's going to accumulate right so snow is going to be our friend as we head into tomorrow so we're going to start seeing freezing rain again by 8 p.m today then that snow um, is going to start coming in around two around three, four, and then looks like we're getting mostly snow towards 6 a.m. those early morning hours Monday and then off towards the east. That storm is out of here by 11 a.m. into noon. So make sure you stick around with for um, more. Um, we're going to have more updates on this storm. We are tracking it, so make sure you um, continue to follow us on F Facebook, on all of our social media platforms, um, and then we will have more later on in the show.